What about um, someone growing cannabis plants in their home for personal use? Well, that's been in the media recently. Uh, my view is that it would never be a top priority to go looking for cannabis in people's houses. Um, it is, however, against the law. Um, but I guess if somebody was caught, they'd be dealt with at the very lower end of, of, of the scale. Right, OK, because, yes, it was Ron Hogg, actually. Mm -hmm. He said it in our programme, Police and Crime Commissioner for Durham, saying small-scale cannabis growers um, will effectively be given a caution, actually. Yeah, and I think he was also saying, though, that what we're most concerned about is organised crime. It's those people who are growing cannabis on an industrial scale. Um, they are using um, uh, people, maybe even trafficked people, who are enslaved to them, to, to, to tender the, the cannabis to be the gardeners. It's those sort of Mr Biggs, it's that organised crime that we need to prioritise, not the lower level Yeah, crime. but if, if someone reported that someone was growing a cannabis plant in their kitchen, yeah. so they went to the police station and reported it, would you investigate? Let's be clear, it's against the law and we would have to record it. Record it, yes. Investigate, though. That might depend on the circumstances. But I think what we have to do is uh, respond in proportion to the nature of the offence. OK. Uh, Dave on Facebook says, bearing in mind what you've said about cannabis, um, what do you think about the legalisation of it? That's a matter for Parliament. Um, it certainly you know. is. Do you have a, a view, though? I don't. As a police officer, um, you know, we're very clear that we operate under the law. At the moment, it's illegal. As I've said, it would never be a priority in terms of uh, minor possession. Um, and also, if we did come across it, we would be dealing with it in terms of warnings. Mm -hmm.